Hi guys, welcome to Webjada. In this one, I'm going to talk about Svelte uh, component life cycles. Svelte components, based on their existence on the DOM or their updation in the DOM, they have different kinds of life cycle methods. I'm going to talk about the main ones now, which are on mount and on destroy. Now, for that, I might need another component because in REPL, usually app.svelte is always present. We cannot test against this component. So I'll create another component and I'll move this hello world to that component. Now this component, uh, I'll import it here. Import uh, hello from dot slash hello dot spread. Now once that is imported, I can uh, use it here as hello. Okay, this we can test against because you know we can check whether it exists in the DOM or not. Uh, the way we can do that is you know we can have a if condition to some variable like show and I can end that. Now show is not defined here, I'll have uh, a show variable and I'll also have a button and I'll call that, okay, uh, I would be able to switch between uh, the true and false state of show. So I'll have a function, switch greeting or switch hello. Okay, now here uh, I'll have a condition, if uh, show is already true, then show equals false, else, show equals true yeah so i'll have to run that function on click i'll do that switch hello okay did i miss something okay switch hello now when i click on the switch the this hello component will show this entire component so it will come into existence and when i click on it again it goes out of the dom so Yes, that's happening. Now I can test on mount here. Okay, so this is a life cycle. Uh, on mount from Svelte. Okay, I'll uh, let this be and I'll have that method here on mount. Takes a callback. Okay, here I'll have uh, a console log which says the component is mounted to the DOM. Okay, um, let's see. Let's see the console here when I switch. Yeah, it is mounted. I'll also have on destroy. Now, this is a similar function with a callback. Mount also has a return function which does the same thing, but that's that's not important now. But you know, on destroy does the same thing. So okay, it it comes to existence, and then if I switch, it's destroyed. So these are the main ones that you might use. Mounted is very important where uh, you uh, you have uh, things that is dependent on the you know on the elements in the DOM. Uh, if let's say a script runs based on what is there in the DOM, then you might need this. So there are other uh, functions. One is before update, which usually runs before even the um, the element or the component gets mounted. And the other one is after update. We can uh, check them as well. I'll just uh, mm, create those methods here. This one will be before update. So I'll call this before. And similarly, I'll have after. Maybe I should space them out. Okay. I'll call this after. Now once they are there, uh, I'll just make some space here. Maybe I can zoom out a little bit. Yeah. Now once they are there, 
uh, you see that uh, before mounted and after run so uh, before runs all the time but if I want to run uh, after again so once I um, I will have to update this component now if I remove it it will run test right so in the same order uh, that uh, it happened here you know how we are calling it it doesn't matter even if I call it at the last uh, statement it you know it doesn't make a difference because you know uh, that's how they are run so before update runs first uh, component mount runs next on mount and then uh, component updates that is after update and if I remove test right now if I update the component uh, again at some point uh, it will run uh, before and after update now let's say there is this name I'll have another button here itself uh, on click uh, it will let's say runs a function called update uh, greet greeting and then uh, I'll call this update okay so there is this button and then update greeting function is not there I'll just uh, create one so update greeting Uh, I'll have a name to be changed to my name right so uh, this button okay this button comes once the uh, once it is hello element is in existence so when I switch I'll have this update button now watch this console so we have this um, before mounted and after if I update it will run before and after again and it also you know uh, soon when the you know component starts updating uh, it will run before update once it is updated it will run after update now once I uh, remove it destroy it so these are the main lifecycle methods that we use uh, in the next one I'm gonna talk about uh, another one which is called tick until then bye bye